Uh, so what we've done is, is we've broken this down into two parts. The first part is what you're going to do is, is you're going to act like an enemy is attacking you from behind. And what you're going to do is, is you're going to flourish into a block. That block is guarding your back. Then what you do is from there is you twist and pivot your feet to present a counterattack towards your enemy. So what it looks like whenever you do it full speed is you go here, then you turn and strike. Now what that's doing is that's teaching you to use your hips and your shoulder to power the saber from behind your back, back in front of you. So what you do is, is you stand straight. You visualize an opponent attacking from behind. You look at this opponent. Then you bring your saber behind. Notice my arm is not behind my back, neither is my hilt. Just the blade is guarding my back. From there, you twist and strike. So, once again, this is the, the two-part breakdown of the, of the plumb loss of flourish. So Julie is going to be attacking from behind. I'm going to defend using the plumb blossom and then turn to present a target to her and counterattack. So the block comes here. You push and then strike. So we'll show that again. The block comes here. Push, strike. that the thumb loss and flourish can be used for is to execute a spin during combat. Uh, one of the big uh, disadvantages of turning your back to an opponent is that you have no guard. So whenever I spin, I'm immediately exposed, she can kill me uh, with relative ease. So whenever you do need to spin uh, in your background, what you do is you can use the plumb loss and flourish to manipulate your opponent's blade and keep them from hitting you while you spin. So what happens is, is she's in a guard, and I come here to move by. And you can use that to, to close distance or to, uh, or to increase distance. So you see here, I'm using it to close distance. While here, I'm going to use it to get away. So when she's attacking, I catch, and I immediately move away. Uh, both are useful in certain circumstances and can get you out of a tight jam, especially whenever you're doing